Alright. Let's turn off the air conditioner, actually. It's making all kinds of racket. <laughs> Let's see if I can work this. Um, do, do, do. Let's see, is this actually appearing? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. One of my favorites, um, whoops, one of my favorite horror video games of all time. This one is an absolute treat, uh, for me at, at least. It, it may be a little dated for some people, um, but for me it's just one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it's been out since 2010, I guess, and yet despite that, it's um, it's continued to be just kind of this go-to classic for people for kind of redefining, redefining what a horror game should be like. Let's see if I I think I just kind of started, um, so I don't think we missed anything here. If I say continue. I think the entirety of the game is, is so modest with hard disk space too, like two gigabytes or something like that. Oh, no, actually, it's all the way back here. Um, you know what, this is actually not a bad place to, to start from. So I'm up here in this kind of study area, and I'm trying to figure out sort of where I need to go next. So, uh, all right, my health, all is good. Sanity, a slight headache. So, so far, true to life. Um, what do I have in my notes so far that I've done? Alright, so, right, there's a wine cellar that I'm trying to get into, because, um, we can't quite get into it. Uh, whoops. Alright, mementos. Alright, must find a way out of this area, right. Chemical ingredients have moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Those chemical ingredients we can use to, um, yeah, do this final part here. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Well, I bet those chemicals can do it. Alright, let's try it. So first I need to get out of this area, though. And I think there's kind of... There's some kind of... secret way. Alright, that's the study. It won't budge. old tomes. Alright, so my guy is kind of getting spooked, hence the uh, video effects. And that's just because I'm in the dark for too long. I can light up these, but I only have so many tinder boxes. And it uses one each time that I that I light up a candle or something. Which is a pretty inefficient use of... Yeah, my guy's getting all spooked out. Oh, crap! That scared me. Alright, so I think a monster just was popping around. Yeah, I hear some kind of monster. Um, but I'm out in sunlight again, so I think I'm okay. Well, relative sunlight. It's a little bit... Um, it's a little cloudy from all the snow. Alright, so I know I need to find some kind of way out of this area. seems like this is the way to go, but I definitely saw some kind of... Anyone else hear that? I heard that. I hear something. Oh man. Alright, my guy's getting really spooked. I'm gonna pause it for a second here. Um... Oops. How do I... Minimize this for a second? Uh, here, I want to share this stream to see if that actually works. So that's what I'll do here. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so what I do is I click on here. Sorry, this is kind of technical issues I'm working out, folks. 
as I as I do this. Maybe I should share Oops. this stream to see if that actually Oops. works. I'm gonna have an infinite feedback loop if I here if I do that. Uh, share. There we go. There we go. I wonder if... Uh... Alright, I think that worked this time. Okay, so... Now that I got that squared away... Alright, so... To find our way out of here... Rare books. So that is like, you know, clearly the largest cockroach that anyone has ever seen in their entire life, I think. You know, I agree, villain. It's not realistic. This is kind of cool. Can I just throw that? It's kind of fun. Pretty realistic, I think. The throwing, at least. So I need to find some kind of way out of this area. Oh, that's the entrance hall, so that gets me out of here, right? Did I make it? I think that counts as a success that I did that. Um, yeah. Amnesia. Oh, okay, so things are freaking out around this area, actually. Hey, James, how you doing? James is actually the first. Oh, I'm getting hurt by this organic tissue. Okay. He's the first one who showed me Amnesia the Dark Descent, so I'm so happy about that. Because I love this game. And, uh, yeah, so this is a pretty peaceful area around here, even though my guy just got kind of wounded. But what I have to figure out is... Let's look at my mementos again. So I found a way out of the area. Good. So evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four elements can create a powerful acid. So clearly that is the answer to this one. And the stuff in the laboratory has been moved to the wine cellar. Awesome. So really, what we know is that we need to go to the wine cellar, because that's where the ingredients will be. Is it too dark? I'm wondering if it's appearing this dark to everybody else. I'm not sure. I might try brightening it up a little bit. Actually, let's see if that is the way to go. Is it too dark for everyone else? I think it might be. Uh, gamma. Does that make it... I don't know if that actually changed much for anybody. I'm not sure. Alright, so this is the refinery. Well, this is... Yeah, this is the area that's still blocked by that crazy organic tissue. Which one's this one? Old archive. So I think we already went there. And that's what we don't need to go anymore, right? We need to get to the wine cellar. What's in here? Hmm. Oil for my lamp. And a tinder box. Perfect. What's over this way? Alright, something's freaking out my character. And more organic substance has grown over all that. Alright, no problem. Let's keep going toward the, uh... Wherever the wine cellar is, it's gotta be down here, right? Laboratory, wine cellar. Or, Cella Venera, Venaria, as the Italian French might call it. You know. Use the key to unlock it. Right, so that's why we went up there, is to get that key. Okay, so already kind of remembering a lot from these little head is pounding and hands are shaking. So that's not a good sign for my sanity. Um, I 
Alright, I think I know where I need to go. Alright, we're using the key to unlock it, just like I said. Ah, and that little kind of relief noise was the sign of me feeling like better because I solved something. So just like in real life, your sanity restores a little bit when you, you know, when you check something out. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling. Ooh, it's dark down here. Hint, beware. When standing in the darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. Alright, so I need to get out of the dark because it's making me go actually insane. But I don't have sources of light down here. I'm remembering something. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a blind to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hearing a memory of like people partying down here. What was that? And a pretty Let's set up like one here. See that's good. So staying in this light is good for my sanity. You know, for a low budget game, this is actually pretty good looking fire, I think. Oh, this fills up oil. Alright, now I don't have any left, that's okay. Right, so I need to use my lantern more, because otherwise my guy will go insane. Oh, there's some more oil. Oh, calamine. That's not oil. That's some other ingredient. Possibly... Oh, I think my guy just got KO'd from... from stuff falling down, actually. But yep, I'm all, like, beat up from falling. Ugh. Why am I falling? Alright, now I'm, like, losing my sanity. Let's get a candle going. There we go. Some nice light. Alright, let's all relax. There's nothing to be too scared about yet. I see some rocks falling. That's kind of scary that that happened. There's no oil left in there. Um, there's got to be a way out of here. Maybe moving these rocks. Hint, hold down the left mouse button. I'm moving it for a strong push. Alright, that's cool. Let's, let's slide these rocks out of the way. Yeah. Alright, that didn't help anything. Oh, yeah, this area is very spooky. And this is also the first area where, yeah, it really feels like the danger is real. Like, there's, I even, I think that's, I think I even stole that phrasing from the, uh, from the game designers in the commentary that the danger is real the bat background atmospherics are terrific also how do I get out of here actually oh I move this stuff okay so that's what we need to do so I need to make it so that rock doesn't fall on me when I move this All right, let's try to push it out of the way come on let's push this one out of the way oh there we go there we go got it all right it's falling guys This is, yeah, I've got to just move this stuff. Is the, hey, is the light too low? Can you guys, can, are you able to see? I'm trying to think of a way to increase the gamma here. What is this place? I almost cleared out the way to get through here. There we go. If I go around this way, I can make it out. Ah! I made it out. Nice. So that was good. That wasn't so bad. Is that blood? That is bad if that's blood. So I got one of the ingredients that I need. What's through here? I still feel like it's too dark. I'm going to see if I can increase the... Uh, 
make it even brighter. Let's try it. Oh, here's the other ingredient. Cuprite. Up, oh, and the door just closed behind me. That's scary. All right, I've got my lantern on, so it should be all right. Man, this is this is pretty creepy. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Test that for a second. Oh, yeah, that's true. Alright, let's see. I'm a little afraid to go through here, actually. Oops, sorry. So I adjust this. There we go. I feel like there's more ingredients back here, or some kind of items I can get. Let's see through this. Okay, it seems safe enough out here, doesn't it? Let's keep looking around here. I think it got a little bit brighter when I adjusted... Oh, that was creepy. You know what, actually, I'm going to increase the sound. No, it's at max sound, never mind. Okay. And I'm losing sanity fast. Alright. Hint, if an enemy is near, stay out of sight and hide in darkness. But that seems like a bad idea because darkness is the thing that scares me. That makes me go a little insane. Um, that's weird. Why are there rocks falling? But who's up there? It's just more of the, uh... Alright, there's light here, so I don't need to waste, um... Oil for my lamp. My lantern. Is it lamp or lamp? I guess it's called lamp. In this. Okay. There must be something in here, because this barrel's blocking it. But before I check that out, let's just look at the rest of this area. Pretty spookular. I see footsteps down here. Someone must have come over here for a reason, I bet. Well, there's oil. Oh, no, that's orp orpiments. That's the other ingredient. So I have one, two, three of the ingredients plus the container to hold them. So I'm well on my way to being able to make what I need to dissolve that thing. However, I just know that there will be enemies nearby. Okay, let's try this. Alright, so far so good. No enemies. And remember, in this game you can't, uh... Well, there's still another ingredient down here, right? Let's look at my notes. Um, evidence libraries relay combining four chemicals. Let's find them. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Ugh. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will be therefore sealed off until the matter is handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. What a weird thing to say. So, I know that he... Um, is that the only note I have? Notes. Yeah, regarding closing local chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes, and it will be difficult. I shall do what I can to move. Alright, so what... Maybe some... Excuse me, is some in the wine cellar. But some... is still in the laboratory. I wonder. 
early alchemy experiments. They were using our notes here that we picked up to kind of figure out where all the stuff is. This is the third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. Okay. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to use, except as a detergent. Hmm? Could be useful. Organic tissues uh, react... Uh, organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Um, local folklore. Another region. Um, so, yeah, I'm just not finding where... Okay, so I think that what I need to do, really, is just look through the rest of this basement. Isn't this where it came from? Let's see. Maybe I just need to go back upstairs now. Go to the laboratory. Let's try it. The cloth smelled of death. It loads too quickly. I can't read the the cool loading screen fluff slash flavor text. All right, laboratory. So we haven't really spent much time down here, I think. Or maybe I have, and I'm just not quite remembering. Well, I must have lit this up before. This torch, that sounds like me. You know how I love lighting torches. Ugh, like flies and stuff down there. Alright, let's look around here. Oh man, I'm having like another memory. What's in here? Hmm, another tinder box. Nice. Hey, more tinder boxes. We love them. Ah, ah, right, here is where. Let's light this, because we'll be here for a little bit. Alright, so this is where I would do the experiment. Why is it still vibrating? Is there more kind of um Oh this is nothing I guess. So these aren't what I need. It's really obvious when you need a when you need an ingredient because uh kind of or something. When you need anything it kind of lights up. It's uh, like what's in here for example. My guy is so freaked out. I don't blame him. I'd be scared too. Hey, what's in here? Ah, tinderbox. What's this? Whoa. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so this guy is kind of dark past going on here. Dark past. But I have three of the ingredients, so let's put the ingredients that we have into these. Here's one. So that's good. That's one of the four ingredients. Orpiment. I should have looked at the others that I. Oh, hello. Okay. All right. That was creepy. Um. Am I missing another ingredient? So that's the bucket. It's gonna be the reciprocal for them. So I'm missing another ingredient. I have three of the four. 
Hmm, let me get my soda pop here. Let's see. Are they all in the wine cellar and I just missed one down there? So I have notes, diaries, and mementos. Alright. So this is more like the Lovecraftian. I'm out in the desert and in my journeys over there I discovered terrible things and truths about the universe and stuff. My hands tremble as I write. I feel I need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today I took some men and ventured into the dark ancient passage we uncovered. Our torch burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. Oh, excuse me, I need more caffeine. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen, despite their unearthly quality. I felt a strange familiarity toward them. Interesting. Hmm. Which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great stone slab sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I, I was trapped. To be honest, I think we need to go back to the wine cellar. I think that's where the remaining ingredients are, hiding somewhere in the wine cellar. Oops. I'm peeking around the corner there. I kind of forgot you can do that. But in a lot of games, if you peek around the corner, it's helpful. Like, But in this one, they still see like they can see you. I don't like that in a lot of games where you can peek around the corner. Whoa. I see a note here. Like, I made... The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb up. Okay, so newest is on top with mementos, I guess. That's interesting. I don't get why this would happen already, considering that... Yeah, let's light this up, because I'm going to be coming back this way sometimes. It is weirdly reassuring looking at the, you know, digital, digital fire in this way. We can find a way to get up there. Maybe there's something through here. Nah. If I just jump... Mm. Nah, that's not doing the trick. Do I need to drag something, perhaps? Maybe I drag this. What's movable? That's the question. Hmm. This is movable. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Haha. <laughs> this is why us humans have been so successful. We're innovative. And we move things around with our hands. Which I think is very, very clever. This loads so quickly I can't read it all fast enough. Their voices were silent in a haze of gun smoke. So, some dark thing happened in the past. Some it became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. So yeah, let's go back to the wine cellar. See if we can find it. I bet we can. Hmm. A sailboat was finally arranged to take him to the Medi across the Mediterranean Sea. I do love these little pieces of fluff, these kind of... So I'm back down where it's really dark. We know about this place. There's no lightable torch thing around here. We know that I'm still missing an ingredient, and I think... It it's down here, although it's not certain. But if it's not, then I just don't know 
where it would be, but maybe there's just more parts to this wine cellar that I'm not. Oh, okay, so there was more oil in there. Is this a different room? Ugh, it's like a saw or something. Saw? Why do I say it weird? Saw or saw? I think saw is correct, and I just say saw like a child. No, I was stuck in this room. I was in this room already, so maybe this just fills up every now and then just as like a make the game a little easier type thing. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, sharks. Ooh. Alright, that was scary. Okay, so I probably need to go there, but that was terrifying to me. And maybe these games aren't that scary to people watching. Maybe it's more scary when you're moving it because you kind of feel more immersed, but hopefully they're still somewhat interesting. Ooh. Uh. Ah, are those pieces of human flesh, did they die down here? gotta be it. Maybe these open. Nothing in there. Ah, this is a graphic scene. Viewer discretion advised for what you just saw. This is another memory. My God! Wilhelm, do something! So I think what must have happened is that those. Except we're not getting out of here. Uh oh, I'm out of oil. How can you say that? All right, that's my oil amount, so I filled it up a little bit. Alexander, you the... piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Can't help but that is a little bit funny. But Alexander's clearly like one of the main bad guys, if not the main bad guy, and so obviously what he did was murder all these people just because they were, I guess, you know, causing them, like, some kind of, you know, stirring up the waters. What's to say? Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenberg, as most of the aristocracy I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly, and offered me a proposition. Why is it I'm not even <clears throat> that tired, but yawning, um, talkings make me yawn. Hmm. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I had been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly. And I accepted wholeheartedly. Not cool, man. You shouldn't do that. Then he says, Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many. Perhaps even a hundred. None of them were ever seen from or heard from again. So this guy, Wilhelm, who got murdered by Alexander, was clearly kidnapping entire families for Alexander, knowing that they would basically be murdered or whatever. So, it's not cool for anyone to get killed, but this guy kind of deserved it, even though he got killed by a guy even worse than him. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Dot, dot, dot. 
I, I'm sure he didn't write the dot dot dot, even though it's in the note. I think that is not, you know, I don't think you write dot 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 if you can't continue. Mm -hmm. It's the loudest slurp on the straw ever. That was terrible. All right, here we go. Aqua regia, regia, regia. That was the last of the ingredients I needed. So let's get out of this terrifying place. Ugh, gruesome. We're making progress, though. That's what we should feel good about. And by we, I mean me plus anyone who watches this now or watches this later. Because I know Facebook saves these videos, so I like that in case people want to watch it later. Plus, I can download it and upload it to YouTube, and that's kind of that's kind of a double whammy. So now we just have to go back to the laboratory and uh, combine these ingredients. And, oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, so according to the um, note I had written to myself, this living nightmare that's following me is kind of making reality crumble as I go, which is also kind of why this fleshiness is appearing more and more. Love this fluff. Hmm. All right. Now is the time to combine these ingredients. Here we go. It's the final one. That's all four. Now we just need to turn this crank. This moved. Okay. So, we know we need to rotate these. So now this is heating up the ingredients. Oh, then I just have to turn each of these wheels also. And it's done in a very kind of intuitive way. Like, you literally have to twirl it around. You, you don't just click it. hear the thunder going. It's working. It's creating... Nice. <laughs> Let's take it. Alright, so we made a pot of acid. Such a dangerous thing to walk around with, but that's what I'm about to do. Of course, now that I know I made it, there's going to be probably be more monsters coming soon. Uh, I love it when they do that with like, like a, a sparkle of like the dust particles caught in the, the light. The game Thief Deadly Shadows does it, that effect beautifully well. Hmm. Yeah, so now we have to dissolve that... Um, it's bad. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know how you're supposed to even possibly get through here. A few cuts and bruises. Um, I don't have any healing stuff yet. So my guy's like a little bit hurt, but he's, he's more or less fine. Alright, this is the refiner. This is where I need to go. Alright, now let's dissolve this organic tissue that's in my way. You know what? Um, is there a way that I can increase the gamma on the... F capture this screen resolution? I don't know that there is hook rate. I don't even know what that means. What if I say, oh, you know what? What if I go to my settings and go to video output um, video nah I don't think it lets you okay that's alright I was just curious sorry I keep interrupting this alright back to game let's dissolve this ah, a true alchemist I dissolved this crazy tissue here now I can 
go into the refinery. I really like that bluish effect of being like, ah, you achieved something. So I can put tinder boxes up and up there. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Good question. Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay, don't stray. Keep going straight. Let's light up this lamp, though, because my guy's gonna go nuts if we don't have some kind of light around. And it is quite dark down here. Be, be careful when enemies are near. Crouching in the darkness makes you a lot harder to spot. I've always thought that about crouching. And in video games, this is especially true. Just slightly crouching, even if you're just a little bit less tall, makes it so that nothing can see you. Ooh, monsters over there. That's creepy. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna duck down. That was creepers. Is this oil? No, it's... I need to get more oil in my lap. That was so creepers. Oh, it's nearby. Shit. Excuse me. Sharks. I don't. I mean, I'm trying to cut curse less often. Oh man. Okay. What's freaking me out now? Oh man, this is creepy. What's over here? Okay, looks like a regular-ish room. More or less. I mean, there's this crazy organic tissue around. Hey, more oil. Good. Oh, there's like flies around. This is not a wholesome environment. Like, if I had children, I would not want to raise them here. In this crazy cave. Hmm. I'm still crouching, aren't I? I'm just, like, nervous, so it makes me feel um, more secure. Maybe I'd feel more confident in regular, everyday life if I... Hey, nice. That can increase your health. What's this June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. Fair point. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? So it's like the pieces of the orb change. Whoa, that door just opened on its own. That's super creepy. Okay. Let's keep going into this scary nightmare. Hmm. Man, what's going on here? It's blocked from the other side. Okay. I made a note of that in my... Oh, this is just another entrance way. Tender box, that's good. What's in here? Or is this... Here, let's light this up so that we can... Alright, we lit that up, that way we don't have to... this room. Were we here already? I feel like we're going in circles now. 
I know it's, it's, it's another journal, it's not circles. It's I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just mm. know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was Crazy. terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject Will Smith? with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Crazy. Is Smith that true? I thought that was like a myth, but maybe that's true. Bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay, so this is like crazy alien demonic. Okay, so there's like a monster nearby. That's creepy. And my sanity is dangerously low. Make sure you stay in the light or make progress. That's creepy. Yeah, that's why my vision is like blurred like this. So how do I make progress? You know? Here, let's get back to the light because this is making me go crazy. Maybe if I look at it long enough, my uh, video effects will stop doing that. And my guy's kind of panting in fear. It does affect you. Like, I'm feeling more fearful just from my character, you know, kind of panting and the video effects of it. It's one of the downsides of the sequels. It didn't have the crazy video and audio effects when you were losing your sanity. And I, and I really like that, the, these effects. All right, let's keep. And I'm out of oil. Okay, let's get a little more. Even though I'm overusing it. So I have to find a way out of here, even though it's like crumbled behind me in that one spot. What was I down here to do, though? Like, we just know this is the area to progress through. No, this is just me going backwards. All right, let's 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 not get confused. All right, let's light up some more so we don't need to use as much oil. Yeah, go, it's going like going from light spot to light spot. It's almost like the floor is lava, but instead of floor, it's darkness. Here. And the light's a cool way to tell if you were, like, remind you. Oh, yeah, I went through here. I went through here. And this is where we were stuck, because this is blocked. So, that's just as simple as crouching through here, I think. And I'm getting scared again. Alright, so there's some kind of evil demonic. I took the oil from here. Alright, visual effects are stopped, so I'm still super insane. Like, my guy's just terrified, but at least I have enough wits to, uh. Tinderbox. It's. And another thing in the, in the second game is they. I think they wanted it to be more, like, straightforward, right? So make it so it wasn't as much about collecting the items and the tinderboxes and the oil, but that is weirdly kind of fun and interesting. Alright, what's through here? Oh, that was the blocked door. Okay, so this just made it come full circle. Alright, that makes sense. But now that it's unblocked, I still need to find a way out of this area, right? Alright, so tell you what. I think, let's light this torch. And let's try... Yeah, this is it, up here. We need to stand on something. One of these, perhaps. Yeah. 
There we go. Do we have to... This, this one would go up otherwise, clearly. Now I just pulled this wench. Is that what it's called? A wench? Did it work? Oh. Yeah, I can go through here now. Alright. Nice. Oops. Alright. That's good. Oof. Alright, let's be careful around this crazy organic tissue. And where's this go? Cellar archives. place just got flooded. Oh, I remember this. It's the crazy water monster. The watcher in the water. Alright, I have to be careful because even though it's invisible, if I get too close to it or if it hears me in the water, it starts chasing me. Yeah, this part's strangely creepy. Hmm, how am I going to do this? It still seems like it's coming through too dark on the screen, but I don't know if that's the case. Man, it's right next to me. Okay. Alright, so. You just have to jump from object to object and not fall in the water. Maybe if I throw a book somewhere, it'll distract it. Yeah, nice. Alright. Did that work? That did something. Alright, I opened the gate. Alright, we have to hurry. Whoops, okay. Oh, it's right next to me. Oh. I can't get to that gate in time. I don't think. Run! Is there anything useful in this room? Probably not. Oh, oops. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. Uh. Alright. Oh, it's falling down again. Oh, I've gotta go back to it. Okay, no problem. thing really stresses me out. Oh, and it's killing me. It's killing me. Ah. Uh. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, ah. Uh. You know what, let's use my item. That heals. Cause I'm like, yeah, barely- okay, it's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's really... I mean... Alright, my guy's really hurt. the other side right after that gate closed there. That's creepy. Ah, uh, there's limbs here. But I can use them to throw them in the water and distract this creature. Alright, 
so I'm holding this dead limb. Oh, it's more, more oil. Oh, and there's, there's more here. Oops, I dropped it in the water, and now it's eating it. That's hideous. So, what I've got to do here is throw these down so I can walk from one to the other. I think. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, so I'll put this on top of this, and then I can just walk from one to the other. Simple. Simple, simple. Oh, oh, don't, you're too far, you're too far. Alright, there we go. Could not be simpler. Oops. Oh, is that another gate thing? How do I open that one? Maybe there's a gate, an opener near it. I tell you what, let's throw this away over here, and maybe it'll go away all, all the way over there. And, here we go! Oof, not too bad. So, um, let's do that over there. Again. We're distracting this water creature that clearly has a gigantic appetite. Uh, I can't quite get to that. Oh, I threw it too far! Ah! Oh, darn it! Hey, oops, 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 there's another one here. We just have to put it over just far enough. That ought to work. Alright, let's dread this torso. It's just a normal day. Cool, alright, we got it. Let's turn this. We made it. Alright, let's go. Alright, we closed the door behind us. It, it's locked with a simple lock. What does that mean? Does that mean there's some kind of, like, item in this room that I can use? Is it in here? It's behind that door, right? Okay, this is, this will work. A hollow needle. That ought to work for a simple lock. I can't get through the door, I think. Alright, you let's use this hollow needle. Done. There we go. We made it. First thing he felt himself dragged by the current of the beast. He pushed himself to the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Terrifying. Okay, so... Oh, no, we're just in the water. Oh no, it's behind us, we have to run. Let's run. And I think we have to pull the doors behind us, otherwise we'll just break through. Alright. This is a dead end, there's this way to go. Alright, jump over the stuff. And close the door behind us. I see it. it has to break through the doors first, I think. Oh, I hear it. Oh man, it's behind me. Okay. We made it, we made it. Just gotta, just gotta go, just gotta go. Okay. Phew. You placed it out of the ocean. Escape artist. Is this another tree, you thought? Wow. Hmm. Oh man, alright, we escaped the Watcher in the water, or whatever it's called. Ah. Finally. A peaceful place. Hmm. Something calls me to that door. This is still a creepy statue motif here.
have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Oh, man. Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the Darn panorama. It. Good. No, I can't hear you. This oh, ride yeah. might be a little sure. longer. And in the other direction. Where am I? Headphones just decided to give up. Uh, I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Here, I'll tell you what. Sorry, as I try to figure this out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't I have sound anymore? Hey, what? Let's save and exit and go back into it. Maybe that'll solve it. Because my sound just went away. But you know what I'll do? I'll test it on here. I'll test YouTube, actually. Because, uh, maybe my sound just gave up the ghost. Hello, everyone. Thanks very much for stopping by my yeah, YouTube my channel. I appreciate it. I'm okay. going to talk a little um, bit in this video, it, very casually, very informally. Right, let me know if you watch what this is entailed in this YouTube you're not able to hear the the oh that's a nice photo it's really cool let's see oh sorry we'll get back to the game here uh, did it close out the game or is it still all right let's go back into it because um i think my um my headphones just stopped working so i'll have to figure them out in a second uh, sorry, as I get this worked out, I, I continue to experiment recently because things keep going wrong with um, the, uh, what's, um, just different things with Facebook Live. All right, let's go back to Amnesia. All right, should be working now. Frictional games. It's funny, it doesn't show on the full screen capture thing here. It doesn't show the, uh, the game yet in the loading screen. Now it does. All right, so let's continue where we were. Man, I need to edit this video after I do it, because it, this is not... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe this just gave up the ghost, perhaps. Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Alright, no problem. Okay. Alright, so he had to say we have we have an ascending room. So that's pretty cool because that means elevator, but that's like an 1830s way of saying elevator. I actually don't I have no idea how well this um, video was going uh, tonight because I think a lot of things got messed up with the video and the sound and all that, so I'll try to edit it down before I post it up on that YouTube and stuff. But anyone who checks this out later or watch this while I was making it. Thanks so much for checking this out. I'll call this song Amnesia the Dark Descent Part 1, even though I skipped a little bit. I'll call it Part 2 because I basically skipped Part 1 and I'll just be Sans minus a Part 1. Um, yeah, so that should be good. So that's pretty good for tonight, but just we know that there's an elevator here and that's basically the thing that would get me to the next major section. But, um, Oh, that's cool. It's interesting how some of these are lit, but others are not lit. 
So, the machine room, it's locked, okay. So clearly I would need to go into the machine room to go into the next part. But, uh, yeah, but this is what seems like a good stopping point because I'm having so many technical difficulties. Alright, this is study up here. This is familiar. I mean, we had kind of a study and a guest room is up here. Uh, oops, my phone going off. Now's a good time. 11.30 seems like a pretty good, pretty good stop. Alright, thanks again, folks. And uh, I'll try to do a longer segment one next time. It's a good hour length for this time.